TOEFL Writing General Essay Sample An essay, Death Penalty. How to Structure IELTS Essay and IELTS Model Answer for Death Penalty Topic. Question Type, Advantages and Disadvantages. Here is the question. Some people advocate death penalty for those who committed violent crimes. Others say that capital punishment is unacceptable in contemporary society. Describe advantages and disadvantages of death penalty and give your opinion. In this essay you're asked about, advantages of capital punishment. Disadvantages of capital punishment. Your opinion about it. Before writing this essay, you should decide what's your opinion and then choose your arguments and set out the pros and cons of death penalty. You don't have to make up very complicated ideas, you can obtain a maximum score with a simple well-written essay. Some of the possible arguments, disadvantages of capital punishment, killing is wrong. We are as bad as they are. Innocent people can be killed because of mistaken verdicts. Maybe society is to blame. How to structure my answer? Introduction, rephrase the topic and state your opinion. Body paragraphs. Paragraph 1, Disadvantages of Death Penalty. Paragraph 2, Advantages of Death Penalty. Conclusion, sum up the ideas from body paragraphs and briefly give your opinion. Essay Sample. Death Penalty. It is the opinion of some people that the death penalty is necessary in order to deter crime. Others maintain it is necessary to satisfy the human need for retribution. The majority however think killing is barbaric in any form an opinion to which I subscribe. The death penalty can be considered an excessive and unjust punishment for several reasons. We know that many people are sick rather than nasty and should be treated. Moreover, even with the now popular use of DNA evidence many innocent people can face wrongful execution. Often the crime is committed when a person has undergone extreme stress. Imagine planning a killing with the collaboration of the establishment behind it. That's premeditated murder. People believe that capital punishment is an effective deterrent of major crimes. So why are so many Americans trigger happy? I believe that potential sociopaths and killers can be identified before they commit a crime. Prevention is better than cure. It does not work for terrorists because they are quite happy to be martyrs. The second argument is that governments spent large sums of the national budget on prisons. I think prisons should be used as factories with fair working conditions and a chance of rehabilitation. To sum up, although capital punishment has some advocates, I think that it only proves that we are still a long way away from being civilized and it is not the best way of controlling criminals and preventing other people from doing crimes. It is just an expedient way of dealing with a problem. Subjective nature graders are humans after all, and there is no way of predicting how they will react to your essay. Even e-raters benchmark their scores on human graded essays. That is why relying on a proven template is a safer way to go than improvising during the test. Avoid using controversial examples such as those relating to religion, politics, race, and gender. You never know who will be reading and grading your essay. Length Some students believe that longer essays get higher scores. This is not true. A 300-word essay that is well organized and has few grammatical mistakes will always be better than a 400-word essay that lacks these qualities. Moreover, longer essays usually have more grammatical mistakes and less developed supporting ideas. The lesson here is this, don't focus so much on length and word count. Instead, focus on organization, development of ideas, and use of language. Vocabulary Too many students make the mistake of using excessive words, in the hope of impressing the examiners. Don't be a sued. Only use those words that you are comfortable using. Sometimes, it is better to just use simple words as long as you can get your point across. Grammar. You won't be penalized severely as long as you don't make obvious mistakes. 
examiners understand that you are writing under pressure and that you are only given limited minutes to write a full-length essay. So spend the last few minutes or so proofreading to correct any silly mistakes. Legibility. If you're not typing make sure your handwriting is readable. Write legibly and make sure that your writing is not too big or too small. Mm.